everyone, welcome to today's lesson where we are going to look at five ketoic vocabulary, but more importantly, we're going to look at six difficult TOEIC questions. So before we start, like, share, subscribe, do all those wonderful things. Let's get started with the vocab. To start, we are looking at the word lucrative. Now, lucrative means you can make a lot of money from this. You can make a great deal of profit. For example, although many might not realize this, the waste management industry can be quite lucrative, so you can make a lot of money from it. Now, some common partners with lucrative are lucrative industry, a lucrative opportunity, a lucrative profession, a lucrative market. That means you can make a lot of money from it. Another example, we see this investment opportunity could turn into something quite lucrative. So you could make a lot of money from this investment. So what is a lucrative industry in your country? All right, the next word is priority. If something is your priority, it is your main focus, your main interest. For example, after my son was born, my work became less of a priority for me. So I didn't focus on work so much. Now, some common collocations with priority are something is a top priority, something is a priority for me, or if you have two things and one is more important to you than the other, you could say A takes priority over B. For example, unfortunately, for the factory, profits take priority over worker safety. So the factory cares more about making money than worker safety. This might be common. Now, remember that form, take priority over. This is quite common in TOEIC. Now, what is the verb for priority? Well, the answer is prioritize. And if you prioritize something, you make it your priority. Here's an example. Instead of prioritizing her health, she focused too much on TOEIC. Is this you? All right, now you can see a common pattern here. Priority is the original word, but then you have eyes at the end. This often means make it that. Let's look at an example. The military wants to make their aircraft more modern. So they want to make it modern. So the military wants to modernize their aircraft. Or maybe the company wants their salespeople to sell more. So they often offer commission as an incentive. An incentive is a reason to do that. So the company wants to incentivize selling more, make it an incentive. So if the company wants to prioritize employee satisfaction, they want to make it the priority. All right, the next word is prior to. This comes up in TOEIC quite a bit. The preposition prior to means before, but it is a preposition, so it must be followed by a noun form. It is not followed by subject verb. So this is wrong. Prior to I quit my job, I had already found a new one. Wrong. Better. Prior to me quitting my job, I had already found a new one. So me quitting my job is a noun form. It is a gerund phrase. There is no verb there. Let's look at another example. This is wrong. Prior to the charity, became internationally recognized, it had already completed some major project. So this is before it became internationally recognized. But this is wrong because I have subject verb to fix this prior to the charity becoming internationally recognized. So prior to is followed by a noun form. Okay, let's practice with three TOEIC style questions. You know what? Let's make it four. Let's look at number one. 
How do we get this answer? Well, first we can eliminate D based on grammar because I communicate with a person. Here, it just would say communicated the workers. It would have to be communicated with the workers. The next I can eliminate is B because we do not dispute people. As a verb, we dispute ideas or claims. So if someone said, I stole their wallet, I could say, I dispute the claim that I stole your wallet, but you do not dispute a person. Therefore, we can eliminate B. And the best answer here is A. So we know humanize means make human or treat human. So if you dehumanize someone, you make them less than human. And if you call someone just by a number, you're not really giving them a name. You're not treating them like a human. So you are dehumanizing them. So many thought management dehumanize the workers by calling them all by their employee numbers instead of their name. All right, let's look at two. This one is quite simple. It is the collocation we talked about. So the students at the university thought the money the university received from donors took priority over the quality of education. So they thought the money the university was receiving was more important to the university than the quality of education. And this is that collocation, to take priority over something else. For example, his health takes priority over his job. So he cares more about his health. Let's look at number three. Pause your screen if you need time. Well, to get this answer, we just need to know grammar. That's it. We can immediately eliminate C and D because when you use one of, you need plural. For example, one of my friend is sick. This is wrong because friend is singular. One of my friends is sick. So here, because it says one of the most, it will be markets. So it's either A or B. And compete is not an adjective. Compete is just an action. So we can eliminate B and the best answer is lucrative. One of the most lucrative markets. So you can, or someone can make a lot of money when it's booming. All right, let's look at four. Pause your screen if you need time. We can also get this answer based on grammar. His termination is a noun. It is not subject verb. Therefore, we need a preposition before it. If I use a because it is followed by subject verb, as soon as is followed by subject verb as well. When is followed by subject verb. We don't have subject verb. Prior to is the only preposition here. Therefore, the answer is D. Okay, let's look at two more key vocabulary and it will be followed by two more TOEIC practice questions. So stick around. We will look at a common vocab in TOEIC. This is once. Now, the word once has several meanings. Let's look at the main three. Once can mean after something is complete, completed, as soon as this has been completed. For example, once she found out she had passed the test, she could finally relax. So after she found this out. Notice here, once is followed by subject verb. Once she found out. Let's look at another example. Once you put in this screw, you can move on to step two. So after you complete this. Remember, in this context, it is once subject verb, then subject verb. Another meaning of once is to state that it existed in the past, but it doesn't exist anymore. You used to do this. Someone used to do this. For example, once I lived in Spain, or I once lived in Spain. Do you still live in Spain? No, but
but you did in the past. Or once I had a girlfriend named Kennedy. Do you still have a girlfriend named Kennedy? No. The last way we can look at once is just to say one time. It, it was just one time in my life or in this period of time. So I might say, I've only been to a movie theater once this year. But if I was talking about the past, I could say once I went to the movie theater every month. I used to. But now I've only been to the movie theater once this year. Or I play soccer once a week. So one time a week. And finally, let's look at the word latest or the latest. Latest means most recent, newest, most modern. For example, the company is using the latest technology, most modern. Or Tristan Inc. is the latest company to go bankrupt, most recent. Now, notice with latest, you will use the before it or maybe his, her, its, are, my, or their. But because it's a EST adjective, you're often gonna have the. All right, so let's look at two questions from TOEIC. Pause your screen if you need time. Well, for this, the answer is C. Despite is a preposition. It is not followed by subject verb. A is subject verb, B is subject verb, D is subject verb. It having is a gerund phrase. So when you use despite, you can have a noun or a gerund phrase or a noun clause. So let's look at an example. Despite the slow speed of the computer, I was still able to finish the project. This is fine because it's a noun, the slow speed. Or, despite the computer running slowly, I was still able to finish the project. This is fine because you have the computer running. This is gerund. However, if I said, despite the computer ran slowly, this would be incorrect. So once again, the answer is C. And the last one. Well, here, you just have to use grammar, and the answer is easy. After the blank, you have you finish, so subject verb. During is a preposition. It's followed by a noun, like during the movie, during the walk. So here, eliminate during. Within is a preposition. It is followed by a noun, not subject verb. So eliminate be. Upon is a preposition. It means as soon as, but it's followed by a noun or verb ing. So, upon arriving home, I ate dinner. Not upon I arrived home. So, upon is a preposition. The only word that is followed by subject verb is once, which means when, as soon as, just after. So, once you finish your investigation. Therefore, the answer is D. All right, this was a longer lesson. I hope you learned something. I hope your TOEIC scores are improving. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.